Georgia Tech jump stone of Randy Harrison. Our deep for Notre Dame. Vesselu with a knuckleball. Bossy in line. Touchback. It'll be put in play first and ten at the 20 yard line. A big game here on a perfect day for football at Grand Field in Atlanta, Georgia. Each of these two teams lost its first two games this year. Each of these two teams has won seven in a row. We have a stadium full of pro scouts and bowl reps here this afternoon. No return on the part of Notre Dame because the ball took a Georgia Tech bounce and bounced over the deep receiver's heads and went out of the end zone for a touchback. Joe Montana has completed 53.5% of his passes. Vegas Ferguson the tailback. Ferguson goes across the 25-yard line. Before he's brought down after a gain of five, Mike Blanton made the tackle. Second down and five yards to go for Notre Dame. Georgia Tech in past years has not had uh, great size in the defensive line, but they average 230 pounds today. They have two big tackles. Marvin Dyett is uh, 6'3", 332, uh, 233, and Matt, uh, Mark Bradley, who's 6'3", 239. Second down play coming down. There's a quick pitch to Vegas Ferguson. He's got the first down. Vegas Ferguson cuts back, and he's across the 50, 45, 40, 35, 20, 15, 10. He is out of bounds at the six-yard line. Vegas Ferguson with the big gainer. Bessalou brought him down, and it is at the six-yard line. Watch this block by Tim Huff from the pulling offensive right guard. There he is, number 78. He clears the way, and Vegas Ferguson cuts back. The flow going the other way. Players are slipping and falling. He gets away from one tackler. Turns on his tremendous speed. And a good tackle here deep in the secondary prevents a touchdown. We move to further action in the same series of play. Third down coming now for Notre Dame. Alice goes off the field and Steve Buchanan comes in. And Buchanan, a better blocker than Pallas, and he really runs over him, and he's in there for blocking purposes. Buchanan is a freshman from Plymouth, Indiana. Now, that Jim Foley on the far side. Montana pulled on way back there at the 18 yard line. Mike Helm pulled him down. What's the up? Watch the offensive right tackle, 73, Tim Foley. He beats the count right there, makes contact. And Montana doesn't know whether to continue the play or not. Ball is being taken back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe I, I think that was a case of uh, Foley just... Uh, Forgetting the count or, or anticipating the count because certainly you wouldn't audible, audibleize down on the goal line. Five yard penalty. The whistle stop play, so there was no option on the part of Georgia Tech. Had they had an option, they would, of course, have taken the play, but the whistle had stopped play. So it is third down and goal to go as the ball moves out to the seventh. Now Merv Johnson sends Chris Haynes into the ball game, wide receiver, as they come out of the double tight end alignment now and get Chris Haynes, a wide receiver, in there. Notre Dame likes to throw them to their tight end in this situation or the fullback out of the backfield. Third down and goal to go. Notre Dame at the Georgia Tech 7. Montana back over his shoulder with instructions. Motion across. Montana. Chris Haynes. Incomplete. Incomplete. Coverage by Donald Patterson. And it'll be fourth down and goal. And... Chuck Mayo is coming out of the field. He's the field goal man. Chris Haynes there, a little upset. He thought Patterson interfered with him. And Lindsay, I think uh, Joe Montana was looking back at the official saying there's too much noise, but he pointed back, run the play. You can hear the signal. Chuck Mayo from Mishawaka is 8 for 10 in field goals so far this year since he took over the duties. Greg Canaffel is in the hole for him. It'll be a 24-yard attempt. A 24-yard field goal attempt for Chuck Mayo. And it is good. The 24-yarder is good for Notre Dame. And the score is Notre Dame 3, Georgia Tech nothing. Chuck Mayo is kicking off now for Notre Dame. And Drew Hill is centered in for Georgia Tech. Hill is retreating. He has it at the one-yard line. Drew Hill to the 5, to the 10, to the 15. And he is stopped at the 18-yard line. 
So Georgia Tech starts first and ten at the 18. They have a freshman, Mike Kelly, the quarterback. He's completed 50.7% of his passes. Six interceptions, five touchdowns. Eddie Lee Avery, of course, number 40, is the big runner. He has rushed for 1,300 yards, an average of six yards per carry and eight touchdowns. Last week against the Air Force, rushed for 356 yards to break the all-time NCAA rushing record for a single game. He's the tailback. First and 10, Georgia Tech at the 18-yard line. Avery. He got one to the 19-yard line. Push back for the Notre Dame defense. It'll be second down and nine. Well, you saw all those green jerseys around Eddie Lee Ivory, and that's their plan today, gang tackling. They're not going to hit him with one man. They're going to hit him with three or four, try to punish him when they tackle him to slow him down so he loses his desire. It took Notre Dame two minutes, 11 seconds to get on the scoreboard on the 24-yard field goal by Chuck Mayo. Pepper Rogers, head coach and former quarterback here at Georgia Tech. Mike Kelly. And again, it's... I no, he throws to Avery, and Avery makes a one-hand catch. And Avery has a first down for Georgia Tech. That's freshman Mike Kelly. Faked the handoff, then got it to Avery, who made a circus catch. Well, he faked the handoff to Ivory off the left side of the line. He went through, came out to his right. He made a bobbling catch. Let's watch it. Watch the fake to Ivory. Now he comes through the line, goes over to the to his right side, a one-handed catch, and that's why he is a great ball player, and it's a first down. We move to further action in the same series of plays. Third down and seven yards to go for Tech. They held the ball at their own 33-yard line. Notre Dame is leading by a score of three to nothing. Danny Mann's in there at fullback now on first of Friday. Ivory has the ball, he breaks the tackle, and then he is dropped by number 77, Mike Calhoun. With help from Golick. And the punting unit comes on for Georgia Tech. Good hit behind the line by Jeff Weston, who slowed him up. So Ivory comes off the field. And Jeff Pierce has entered the punting. He's a freshman from Alpharetta, Georgia. Weimar has dropped back deep to receive it. It's off the side of the foot of Jeff Pierce. Gibbons lets it go. There'll be no return. And it is down at the 31-yard line. With the score still the same, we move to further action in the first quarter. Notre Dame is leading 3-0. We have a minute, 20 seconds left to play in the first period. First and 10 for Georgia Tech. They have the ball at their own 20-yard line. Friday and Avery are the setbacks in the I formation for Mike Kelly, the freshman quarterback. Avery. Stretched himself out to the 23-yard line. It'll be second and seven. At the 23. Calhoun broke through there and slowed Ivory up. They're getting shots at Ivory in the backfield, but he's so strong that he's uh, getting away from the first tackler, but that allows the rest of the defensive players to Notre Dame to get to him, so he only got two yards on the play. Last year against Notre Dame and South Bend, Ivory was on a kickoff return of 97 yards on a touchdown. Second and seven here. Danny Mann's the fullback. Ivory top this time with the Notre Dame defense at the 21 yard line for a loss of two third down and eight yards to go that was Tom Robleski who has not seen much playing action and he was ready number 68 been waiting all season for that tackle Lindsay. third down and eight yards to go now fullback shoveling again for Georgia Tech They've got Friday in there now at fullback. Kelly to Ivory incomplete behind the line. So that's fourth down, and here comes the punter for Georgia Tech. It's a kicking game here at Grant Field. Well, Jeff Pierce, the punter, going into today's game, averaged close to 40 yards, but he got two off the side of his foot in this first period. Clock will start on the snap. We have one second left to play in this quarter. Waymer is back to take the punt from Jeff Pierce. Waymer at his 36. Waymer to the 40. And he has stopped as he approached the 44-yard line. Make it the 43. First and 10 for Notre Dame. And time has run out in this period. 
That's the end of the first quarter here at Grand Field in Atlanta with the score. Notre Dame 3, Georgia Tech nothing. Change of punch. Notre Dame is leading by a score of 3 nothing. We're in the second quarter with 11 minutes, 16 seconds left to play on the first half. And Notre Dame has the ball first and 10 at their own 8-yard line. Joe Montana brings him up. Pallas is the fullback. Vegas Ferguson, the tailback. Jerome Heavens has not played in the game today. Vegas Ferguson goes out of bounds as he moves it to the 13-yard line. Lawrence Lowe ran him out of bounds after a gain of five. It's second and five. The blocking out there by Grindinger and Foley. Pulling from their left end and left tackle position. Notre Dame got three points on the board early after a 68-yard run from scrimmage by Vegas Ferguson. But since then, it's been a kicking game. A defensive standoff. Buchanan's the fullback in there now for Notre Dame. Vegas Ferguson. Vegas Ferguson to the outside. Vegas Ferguson to the 30. Wants to cut back 35, and he goes out of bounds. At the 38-yard line, first and 10, Henry Johnson ran him out. Great blocking by the freshman, Pete Buchanan. Let's watch it. There you see the block by Buchanan. And watch this move here. He flips the tackle right there. Number 21, Donald Patterson, moves to the outside, does a little juke step, and goes out of bounds. We move to further action with Notre Dame still in possession of the ball. Notre Dame's leading 3 0. We have 9 minutes, 19 seconds left to play in the first half. Third down and 13 yards to go. Notre Dame is at the Irish 49. Montana. Montana drops to run it. 45. And he's trying to get to the 6, and he made it. First and 10. He just got to the 6, and it took that second effort to get there. Just a drop back pass. Montana's receivers are covered. The blockers. Block the lineman to the outside. Here Montana turns it on, makes a good cut there, and drives ahead, and that enabled him to get the first down. We move to further action in the same series of play. We have 7 minutes, 53 seconds left in the first half. Notre Dame's leading 3-0. Third and one. Notre Dame at the Georgia Tech 29. Vegas Ferguson, first and 10 for Notre Dame at the 24-yard line of Georgia Tech. Just straight ahead, roll up blocking by the offensive line, and Pete Buchanan once again, watch Buchanan, watch the line move out. All taking him in, and Buchanan hits the block. Ferguson to the outside for the first down. First and 10 now for Notre Dame at the Georgia Tech 24 yard line. Fullahan is out to a wide left. Buchanan is ahead of Vegas Ferguson in the eye for Montana. Now they try to round this time. And Nasdaq has run out of bounds at the 26-yard line for a loss of two on the play. Special who ran him out. Well, let's look at this end around. Fooled everybody but number 87, Tom Kuski. Notre Dame worked that play successively for a first down, but not again. So it is second down and 12 yards to go. Notre Dame at the Georgia Tech 26 yard line. Fullahan out of the wide left to Sissons, wide right to running back to Wells Split for Montana. Montana dropping back. Over the middle and it's complete. Taking the fullback, Palace. Pete Palace to the outside. That's a little trying to cut him up. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Pete Palace, the fullback, took it in. Fullback pass over the middle. He is wide open and Don Bessel tried to cut him off with the pass and could not make it. Just a drop back pass. There you see 45 Palace delay. He's wide open. Linebackers dropping deep. Everybody to the outside. Gets by number 28 and off into the corner for a touchdown. Conversion attempt coming out. Chuck Mail is under attempted. Greg Knaffel is holding. Mayo had a 24-yard field goal earlier. Navel puts it down. Mayo puts it up, and it's good. As a break in the action here at Grant Field in Atlanta, Georgia, with the score, Notre Dame 10, Georgia Tech nothing. Georgia Tech was unable to sustain a drive, so they punted to Notre Dame. Notre Dame has it first and 10 short of their own 20-yard line. Four minutes, 42 seconds left to play in the first half. Notre Dame's leading 10 to nothing. Montana. 
defensive play. Then it's the hands, and Don Bessalo made the move to deflect it. He almost had an interception there. Came up, read the play very well. So we look at Pepper Rogers in his fifth year as head coach at Georgia Tech. Second down and 10 yards to go for Notre Dame. Still short of their own 20-yard line. Steve Buchanan coming in to replace Palace. They've been alternating in there at fullback all day. Jim Stone has been in on occasion to spell Vegas Ferguson at tailback. Jerome Evans has not played in the game at all. Vegas Ferguson. Vegas Ferguson. We'll get out to the 39-yard line. First and 10, Notre Dame. Donald Patterson brought him down. Watch this great high stepping by Vegas Ferguson. Locked there by Huffman. Watch, he jumps over the pile there. Gets to the outside, and it's a sign of a good runner. And he's eaten up a lot of yardage today. Vegas Ferguson came into the game with 905 yards, needing only 95 to become the second man in Notre Dame history to rush for 1,000 yards. Al Hunter was the other. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. Montana puts it up long, and it is incomplete. Penalty marker. Penalty marker strong. Penalty marker on the far side. Jim Taylor was the defender over there. And a third shot. Hulahan was the intended receiver, and it's going to be, I think. Well, let's see. Hulahan clapping his hand, so it is defensive interference. Notre Dame had come all the way back upfield, thinking perhaps it was going to be offensive interference. First down, Notre Dame at the Georgia Tech 20 yard line. Well, Chris Haynes had him beat. He had Ken Taylor beat, and he tried to get around him, and Taylor gave him a little push. It was a good, de- a good call by the official. fans here don't think so. So Notre Dame leads 10-0. They have the ball first and 10 at the 20-yard line. Vegas Ferguson inside the 10. Touchdown, Notre Dame! A 20-yarder for Vegas Ferguson. Who's been the best running back on the field here this afternoon? He certainly has, and he looks like he's going out for the high hurdles. The way he goes over those linemen. He's got a great blocker. And Buchanan, watch him jump the down lineman there. Boy, that is a real leap there. Lands on his feet. Gets away from number 24, Larry Lowe, and into the end zone for a stand up touchdown. Conversion attempt coming now. Doug Mayo will attempt it with Greg Knaffel holding once again. Knaffel puts it down. Mayo boots it up, and it's good. So as they come back up the field, the score is Notre Dame 17, Georgia Tech nothing. Now we move to further action. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. Two minutes, 12 seconds left to play in the half. Kelly. Up the middle and completes it Drew Hill. Drew Hill is at the 16-yard line. First and 10, Georgia Tech at the Notre Dame 16. We move to further action in the same series as the play. Georgia Tech has the ball at the Notre Dame 10-yard line. Third down and four yards to go. One minute, 14 seconds left in the half. Notre Dame leading 17 to nothing. Stamberger in motion to the right side. Eddie Lee Alvey blockers out in front. Throws into the end zone. Schamberger, touchdown. Schamberger for the touchdown from Avery. Right at the corner. Georgia Tech with a halfback pass. Good for 10 yards to Schamberger from Avery. Eddie Lee Ivory running out. It's his second pass of the year. He jumps, throws to Schamberger. And his second completion, he's batting a 1,000. Conversion attempt coming now. Johnny Smith will attempt the conversion. Brad Roper's holding for him. Brad Roper holding for Johnny Smith. Roper puts it down. Smith puts it up. And it's good. And the score. Notre Dame 17, Georgia Tech 7. 
We move to further action with Notre Dame still in possession of the ball. Notre Dame has the ball first and ten. They have it at their own 38-yard line. 23 seconds left to play in the first half. Notre Dame's leading 17 to 7. Montana. And it's complete at the 45. Chris Hayne goes to the 32-yard line. Patterson made the tackle and quickly Notre Dame is up there ready to go once again first and ten at the Georgia Tech 32. Clock is running with 13 seconds remaining to play in the half. Ball is marked now, ready for play. Montana throws it and it is complete. Houlihan, Houlihan gets to the sideline at the 21-yard line. He's out of bounds. Two seconds left to play. Two seconds on the clock. Smart move by Houlihan. He looked upfield. He tried to get extra yardage. He saw that it was blocked. He went out of bounds and stopped the clock. Doug Mayle is in now for a 39-yard field goal attempt. Canaveral is in the hole for him. Notre Dame will try to get three more points on the scoreboard before the halftime intermission with Canaveral holding. A 39-yard field goal attempt for Chuck Mayle. And he lines on this one and hits the crossbar. No good. And time has run out. The Lions eyes kick hit the crossbar and bounded back. That's the end of the first half here with the score. Notre Dame 17, Georgia Tech 7. The Tech will receive and Chuck Mayo will kick out as we start the second half. Notre Dame's leading 17 to 7. This is Lindsey Nelson with George Connor in Atlanta, Georgia. Ball is taken at the 10 yard line. And it's returned by Sumter. And Sumter's across the 20, out to the 22 yard line. Georgia Tech will start first and 10 in the first half. Eddie Lee Ivory rushed for 63 yards. Georgia Tech rushed for 70 yards. Vegas Ferguson of Notre Dame rushed for 188 yards. And Ferguson's 188 in the first half gives him a total of 1,093 this season, breaking the Notre Dame single season record of 1,058 by Al Hunter in 1976. First and 10 now for Georgia Tech. And the freshman quarterback, Mike Kelly, brings him up. Eddie Lee Ivory, number 40, is the tailback. Complete. Marked at the 25 yard line. Donnie Stroll. Stand of about two yards on the play. I'll make it second out of eight yards to go to 25. Now we move to further action. Second down, 10 yards to go at the 50. Kelly. And it is intercepted at the 34 yard line. Intercepted by Notre Dame. Golick got the ball. Bob Golick. Using the play action, but not executed very well. The All-American middle linebacker, Bob Golick, on his knees, makes the interception. We move to further action with Notre Dame still in possession of the ball. Dan Devine along the sideline with a gain of 13 yards on the pass play. First and 10, Notre Dame at the Georgia Tech, 48. Montana. Massac, and he's at the 30 and the 25. Dean Massac down to the 20 yard line, first and 10. Laura Slow and Don Besselou made the tackle. 28 yard pickup on the play. Montana with, a, with the uh, drop back pass. Massac, nothing fancy about it, just upfield. Gets behind the linebackers who did not make a deep drop. That's his 10th catch of the year. We move to further action in the same series of play. 7 minutes, 38 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Notre Dame leading 17 to 7. Third and 7 at the Georgia Tech 17 yard line. Montana throwing, and it is completed. All the way down to the 8 yard line as Bendinger took it out of bounds. And that'll be a first down and goal to go. Notre Dame at the Georgia Tech 8. Special there on the tackle. Yeah, third and long. Montana looking for his tight end. Does a square out, and Dennis Grindinger. 66 from Dallas, Texas, makes his 15th reception. Dan Devine, Merv Johnson along the sideline. First and goal, Notre Dame leading 17 to 7 and driving. Vegas Ferguson. Ferguson took it to the one, fumbled, and Lawrence Lowe recovered at the one, 
It's spotted nearer the two now. First and ten, Georgia Tech. That's why Ferguson makes a fine run, tries to get extra yard. He's kicking his way. There you see the ball. I think number 90 there popped it out. Linwood Valley pulled the ball out, and Georgia Tech recovered. As a break in the action here at Grand Field with the score, Notre Dame 17, Georgia Tech 7. Georgia Tech was unable to sustain the draft, so they punted to Notre Dame. Notre Dame starts in Georgia Tech territory, first to 10, at the Tech 48. Five minutes, nine seconds left in the third quarter, Notre Dame's leading 17 to 7. Montana, short drop. Hops it on a turnout, and a diving catch at the 41 yard line. We move to further action with Notre Dame still in possession of the ball. Two minutes left to play in the third quarter. Buchanan and his Palace have not been very successful running, but you have to run them occasionally to keep the interior of the line running through the right the alley. Vegas Ferguson, ah, it's pass play. It's going to Hart, and Hart is down to the one-yard line. Fake the handoff to Vegas Ferguson. We took the fake, and then he passed to his tight end. Jim Taylor made the tackle. Let's watch Kevin Hart, senior, who's covered by Lawrence Lowe, their leading interceptor. Lowe thinks he's going for the interception. Hart gets the ball, so tucks it away, and lowers it just like his father did, who was a Heisman Trophy winner player years ago. First down and goal to go inside the two-yard line. And Montana tries the quarterback to quick down Notre Dame. Montana on the quarterback sneak took it in for Notre Dame. Montana on the quarterback sneak going behind Tim Huffman and his and his brother Dave Huffman. He said, "No fumbles down here. I'm going to run it in myself." And it is going to be Joe Yunus. Joe Yunus will attempt a conversion. It could be that Mayo uh, hurt his leg on a power attempt, and it's good. Yunus for the conversion. There was no further scoring in the third quarter, and the period ended with the score, Notre Dame 24, Georgia Tech 7. Now a word from Magnavox, the makers of Touch Tune Television, where you'll find quality in every detail. The Computer Society. It's big news everywhere, and now it's in Color TV. Computer Color 330, new from Magnavox. Computer Color 330, the all-electronic color system with 25% more lines of resolution. That means a sharper, crisper color picture than ever before possible. Touch, touch tune television with Computer Color 330, new from Magnavox. War song coming up. Now for Georgia Tech, and apparently they're going to go for it. They need about two and a half yards, and they're going to elect to try to keep the drive alive. About two and a half yards away from a first down. It's on fourth down. They're going to go. I've read. And he did not make it. The ball goes over to Notre Dame at the 32-yard line. Well, Jay Case in there and Golick and Heimkrater. Let's watch. Needing a, fir a first down on fourth down. Notre Dame knowing it. They get good pursuit. There's Browner in there. We move to further action with Notre Dame still in possession of the ball. Dan Devine, head coach of the Irish. First and ten at the Georgia Tech 34. This is Vegas Ferguson. He's at the 20, 15. Finally goes out of bounds at the seven at the seven yard line. First and goal, Notre Dame at the Georgia Tech seven. What a day he's having over there. Looks like he's shaken up a bit. Dave Huffman is over there with him. Let's look at this very closely. Vegas Ferguson having one of his finest days up the middle behind Buchanan. Flip to the right there. Breaks the tackle. On number 54, Henry Johnson. Makes a move there to the outside. Another move to the inside. And what a day he's having. We move to further action in the same series of plays. Third down and goal to go. Notre Dame at the Georgia Tech five. Now they're splitting in out and they have set Stone in the slot right. 
Montana. And he throws touchdown, Notre Dame. Taken in the end zone by Chris Haynes. Chris Haynes checks it for the touchdown. Putting him to the wide, to the short side of the field. Stone goes in, Haynes goes out. Conversion number 99, Joe Unit. Doug Mayle apparently hurt his leg in trying a field goal at the close of the first half. That conversion is good. Penalty markers down. There's a penalty marker on the conversion. And it is against Georgia Tech, so the conversion attempt is good. Kick was good, and the score is Notre Dame 31, Georgia Tech 7. Now we move to further action. Here in the fourth quarter, Pepper Rogers getting some relief in for his front-line troops. Terry Davis is a freshman from Augusta, Georgia, and he's in that tailback. Kelly throwing long to Hill, and Drew Hill's got it at the 20. And he's gone. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. A beauty, a 64-yard pass play. A 64-yard pass play from Kelly to Drew Hill for the touchdown, Georgia Tech. Well, to show you what this freshman quarterback can do, Mike Kelly fakes play action, throws a long one. Drew Hill gets behind Joe Restick. It isn't even a foot race. He goes in for his fourth TD, and that's Kelly's fifth, sixth TD pass of the year. Friday is the lone setback. They spread him out to go for two. Mike Kelly rolling and looking and throwing, and a two-point conversion to Ivory. Ivory took it in the end zone for the two-pointer. So they went for two, and they made it. Score, Notre Dame 31, Georgia Tech 15. Move to further action in the fourth quarter. Five minutes left to play in the game. Notre Dame's leading 31 to 15. The Irish came into this game with a record of seven wins and two losses, looking for their eighth win in a row. Kelly, guns it, and it's deflected, and it's Gibbons, and he has it at the 37, the 30. The 25, the 20, and Gibbons goes out of bounds. Near the 15-yard line. And Gibbons is really happy over on the sideline. Got his third interception of the day. Kelly with plenty of time. Good blocking. Finally lets it go. It's tipped by Rustic. Right there. Gibbons runs right under it. And returns it for about... 12 yards. First and 10 Notre Dame at the Georgia Tech 16 yard line. Notre Dame's leading 31 to 15. We have 4 minutes 47 seconds left to play in the game. Cagle's the quarterback. Stone is carrying. Montana's out of the game and the ball goes to the 11 yard line for 5. Stone carried it. We move to further action in the same series of plays. Fourth down, 20 yards to go. Notre Dame fought at the Georgia Tech 26. Cagle. There's a screen left, and it's Stone. Stone with a 15 to the 10, and he gets into the five-yard line, but it's going to be very close to the first down. Is it or isn't it? It's very close. He was looking for those last few inches. So either it is a first down or the ball goes over, and they're spotting it very carefully there. You see them sliding over to the sideline. They'll bring out the chain to measure for the possible first down. So it is a first down for Notre Dame, or the ball goes over to Georgia Tech. First down, Notre Dame. First and goal at the five. The key block on that play was thrown by Jeff Tipton. Here it is. Watch 53. Coming downfield here. First down and goal at the six-yard line. Stone hits in. Picks up about a yard. Harris made the tackle. This telecast is presented by authority of the C.D. Chesley Company. 
Any use of this program without written consent is prohibited. The announcers on this program have been approved and contracted for by the C.D. Chesley Company. Vegas Ferguson is not in there at the moment. He has had an amazing day on the field and has set the all-time rushing record for Notre Dame. Rushing in a single year, breaking the record set in 1976 by Al Hunter. Second down and goal to go. Again, Stone and touchdown Notre Dame. Tim Stone took it in. What caught Stone here? Pulling guard. Stone not having an opportunity to run from the halfback spot. He runs well, picks his hole, and in for his first touchdown of the year. A conversion attempt coming now for Notre Dame. Joe Yunus is in to try it. Greg Ganaffa will hold for him. And again, Dan Devine is on the field talking to the referee. Dan Devine has gone all the way onto the field to talk to the referee. Now Devine is going back to the Notre Dame sideline. Coach Dan Devine gets a lot of attention when he goes out on the sidelines especially in the south, and there comes something out of the stand. The line is being protected by the policeman, the uniformed policeman along the sideline, and some of the Notre Dame players are over in front of the stands now, trying to get to, I suppose, whoever was throwing something at head coach Dan Devine. So we have a melee. There's Merv Johnson back there, the assistant head coach. There's Devine saying to the squad, get on back as he takes command there. Merv Johnson over with him saying to the squad, get away from the stand. Pepper Rogers is out there trying to help restore order. Head coach of Georgia Tech is making an effort to restore order. Have you ever heard a game being called when it's out of reach by the opponent? Did the two coaches get together and say, let's call the football game? Yes. Dan Devine is talking to the Notre Dame squad. Yes, they could, and such a thing has been done. Now, Devine talking to the squad. Apparently they are receptive. You see some of the squad applauding. They're going back over now towards the Notre Dame bench. Tony, to attempt the conversion. It's up and it's good. The score, Notre Dame 38. Georgia Tech 15. Joe Yunus is taking off. Drew Hill is deep for Georgia Tech. Hill moves up and he takes it at the 12-yard line. Hill to the 15, to the 20, to the 25. And he is 10 right there. By Steve Hartley, number 49. So Georgia Tech starts first and 10. They start at their own 29-yard line. And here comes Mike Kelly, the freshman quarterback. He's been in there all day long. Hamburger and Hill are in at the wide receivers. Eddie Lee Ivory is the tailback, and Ray Fadi is the fullback. Kelly, and Drew Hill has it. Near midfield, at the 49-yard line. First and 10, they pick up 20 yards on the pass play. Using play action, which Notre Dame is trying to ignore, he hits Drew Hill. Good catch, finds the opening in that deep secondary. We move to further action with Georgia Tech still in possession of the ball. The engineers have a third and ten outside their own 25-yard line. One minute, ten seconds left to play in the game, and the score is Notre Dame 38, Georgia Tech 15. Kelly. Kelly with the ball. Drew Hill. Drew Hill is at the five-yard line, first and goal. Drew Hill with a diving catch. It'll be spotted at the six-yard line. Let's watch that freshman, Mike Kelly. He really drills him in there. He can throw all kinds of passes, throwing to his favorite receiver. He gets in front of uh, Tom Flynn, another good reception. 50 seconds left to play in the game. First and goal at the six-yard line. Incomplete. 
Then did that stop the clock at 43 seconds? Schamberger over there. Second goal at the six. So now, Mike Kelly awaits the arrival of the next player being brought in by George Moore. Notre Dame, with a victory here this afternoon, will have a record for the season of eight wins and two losses, eight consecutive victories following two losses to open the season. One game to play. Next Saturday, we'll be at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum to bring you Southern Cal and Notre Dame. Kelly, over the middle, touchdown to Moore. George Moore, touchdown. Georgia Tech, he was wide open. Let's watch Kelly watch on the left of your screen. It's a blitz. Kelly rolls out to the left. Watch him unload just before he gets hit. Moore wide open. Touchdown. Once again, Georgia Tech is asking if the ball be spun. It's the hash mark on the three-yard line. They'll try a two-point conversion. Score right now is 38 to 21. And Georgia Tech is attempting a two-point conversion. Power eye formation with motion across. Kelly rolls. Wants to throw back, and he does. Incomplete. Incomplete. And the score. Notre Dame 38, Georgia Tech 21. There was no further scoring in the period, and the game ended with the score. Notre Dame 38, Georgia Tech.